in many cases one metal or element can produce two or more types of two or more types of oxides by reacting with oxygen for example just in the previous case of our discussion nitrogen by reacting with oxygen can produce nearly six types of oxides similarly sulfur also reacts with oxygen and produces three or two types of oxides like this a single element or single metal can produce two or more types of oxides these oxides different from these oxides differ in nature and their properties their properties so this is about dioxygen once again preparation physical properties as well as chemical properties the most important chemical properties almost all metals except gold platinum and all all non metals except inert gases by reacting with oxygen they produce different oxides here some of the oxidation processes may takes place in the presence of catalyst such oxidations are called as catalytic oxidation just stated by us just now next one the uses of dioxygen what are the uses of dioxygen already we will know that the normal use of dioxygen or in addition to its normal use what is the normal use dioxygen is used for respiration respiration and combustion the normal uses of oxidation oxygen are respiration and combustion in addition to its normal use normal use like respiration and combustion combustion of chemical substances it is used in oxyacetylene weldings it is used in oxyacetylene weldings and also these oxygen widely used in widely used in hospitals hospitals comma high altitude flying high altitude flying and mountaineering while we are going to climb hills so generally they used to wear oxygen cylinders these oxygen in the cylinders are widely used in hospitals high altitude flying and mountaineering and also this oxygen generally by reacting with nitrogen oxides especially nitric oxide reacts with oxygen to produce high amount of high amount of energy so this high amount of energy will be helps to pro produce tremendous thrust in rocket flight so this is about preparation properties and uses of dioxygen so after this the next concept is simple oxides simple oxides so what are oxides again oxygen by reacting with metals and non metals they produces their derivatives the resulting products are called as oxides of those metals and these metals are two types they are simple oxides the oxides sorry the oxides produced from metals and non metals are widely classified into two types they are simple oxides example mno2 or sio2 etc all these are called as simple oxides and also one more mixed oxides the two types of oxides are simple oxides and mixed oxides 
एग्जाम्पल फॉर मिक्सड ऑक्साइड्स आर एम एन टू ओ सेवन आर एफ ई थ्री ओ फोर आर पी बी थ्री ओ फोर एक्सेट्रा सो दीज आर सिंपल ऑक्साइड्स एंड दीज आर मिक्सड ऑक्साइड बट एज पर अवर स्टेटमेंट वी हाउ टू डिस्कस अबाउट सिंपल ऑक्साइड्स अगेन दीज सिंपल ऑक्साइड्स सिंपल ऑक्साइड्स फर्दर क्लासीफाइड इन टू सिंपल ऑक्साइड्स फर्दर क्लासीफाइड इन टू क्लासीफाइड इन टू थ्री टाइप्स बेस्ड ऑन इट्स कैरेक्टर बेस्ड ऑन इट्स कैरेक्टर लेट अस हैव व्हाट आर द थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ ऑक्साइड्स नंबर वन एसिडिक ऑक्साइड्स एसिडिक ऑक्साइड्स सेकंड वन बेसिक ऑक्साइड्स बेसिक ऑक्साइड्स एंड थर्ड वन एम्फोटेरिक ऑक्साइड्स द थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ ऑक्साइड्स आर एसिडिक ऑक्साइड्स बेसिक ऑक्साइड्स एंड एम्फोटेरिक ऑक्साइड्स इन एडिशन टू एसिडिक बेसिक एम्फोटेरिक ऑक्साइड्स सम मोर टाइप्स ऑफ ऑक्साइड्स आर देयर दे आर कॉल्ड एज न्यूट्रल ऑक्साइड्स न्यूट्रल ऑक्साइड्स सो लेट अस लर्न व्हाट आर एसिडिक ऑक्साइड्स which type of oxides will be considered as acidic oxide that means definition for acidic oxides followed by examples for acidic oxides the oxides by reacting with by reacting with water if produces produces acids so what are acidic oxides here the definition are to identify which are acidic oxides we have to follow one statement what is that those oxides by reacting with water if they produces acids as products acids as products such oxides are called as such oxides are such oxides are acidic oxides such oxides are acidic oxides let us have some examples for acidic oxides carbon dioxide cl2o7 n2o5 so2 so3 etc what are all these oxides these oxides are called as acidic oxides why because when these oxides reacted with oxy reacted with water they produces acids let us have one example when sulfur dioxide treated with water it produces sulfurous acid having the molecular formula h2so3 so the means sulfur dioxide is an oxide by reacting with water it produces sulfurous acid 